Welcome back to Thoughtful Tomes, the podcast where we delve into books that don't just inform, but transform. Books that challenge how we live, think, and grow. Today's journey takes us into the heart of Make It Stick, the science of successful learning, a groundbreaking exploration of how we truly absorb, retain, and apply knowledge in a meaningful way. Crafted by cognitive psychologists Peter C. Brown, Henry L. Rodiger III, and Mark A. McDaniel, this book bridges the gap between scientific research and real-world application, making it an invaluable resource for anyone. Educators, students, professionals, or lifelong learners seeking to unlock their full learning potential. Have you ever felt the frustration of spending hours studying only to draw a blank when you need that knowledge the most? Or found yourself struggling to master a skill that feels just out of reach? You're not alone, and it's not your fault. Many of the traditional methods we rely on to learn are less effective than we realize. This episode is your guide to unraveling those misconceptions and embracing proven strategies to make learning not only effective, but enduring. So let's uncover the science behind what it takes to make knowledge stick deeply, practically, and lastingly. The core idea, learning beyond memorization. The authors of Make It Stick dismantle the outdated notion that learning is primarily about rote memorization or simple recall. They reframe learning as a transformative process where knowledge becomes so deeply ingrained that it informs action instinctively, like second nature. True learning isn't just about knowing facts. It's about embedding that understanding so thoroughly that it enables fluid and creative application. Imagine a musician improvising with effortless grace or a professional solving a problem under high pressure conditions. In both cases, their success stems from mastering their craft to the point where conscious deliberation is unnecessary. They respond intuitively and effectively because their learning is deeply internalized. However, achieving this depth of understanding requires more than traditional study methods. Practices like cramming or passive highlighting often give the illusion of progress, but fail to create the robust mental connections necessary for long-term retention. This disconnect between effort and outcome is where Make It Stick provides transformative insights. The book challenges us to rethink not only how we learn, but also how we measure success in learning, emphasizing strategies that cultivate lasting knowledge and adaptive expertise over fleeting familiarity. Common missteps in learning. Before delving into effective learning strategies, it's vital to address some common pitfalls that hinder true mastery. The authors of Make It Stick shine a light on pervasive habits that feel productive, but are often counterproductive. Year one, repetition without depth. Rereading notes or revisiting material multiple times may create a sense of familiarity, but this approach is deceptively shallow. It's like tracing the surface of an image without ever understanding its layers. While it may help learners recognize material during a test, it rarely leads to the deep encoding necessary for applying knowledge in novel or complex situations. This is because the brain isn't actively working to retrieve, process, or connect the information, activities crucial for building strong neural pathways. Two, over-reliance on highlighting and note-taking. Highlighting, with its colorful and systematic appearance, often tricks learners into believing they've mastered content simply because they've engaged with it visually. Similarly, mechanically transcribing lecture notes word for word can serve as a safety net, but fails to challenge the brain to synthesize or reframe the material. These methods focus on storage rather than understanding, leaving learners ill-equipped to recall or apply information dynamically in real-world contexts. These methods share a common flaw, they are passive. They demand minimal cognitive effort and fail to push the brain into the discomfort zone that real learning requires. Without that engagement, grappling with concepts, testing oneself, and actively retrieving knowledge, learning remains superficial. True mastery involves more than just familiarity. It demands that knowledge be actively earned, tested, and woven into a broader framework of understanding. Effective learning strategies. The science of stickiness. What does truly effective learning look like? According to Make It Stick, it's not about shortcuts or surface level engagement, but rather about harnessing cognitive processes that create lasting, flexible understanding. 
the authors offer a science-backed toolkit of strategies that challenge the brain to work harder and smarter. Let's break down some of the most transformative ones. One, picture trying to remember the details of a lesson without immediately glancing at your notes. This process, known as retrieval practice, is much more than a memory drill. It's an act of fortifying neural pathways. Each effort to recall pushes the brain to actively reconstruct knowledge, making the connections stronger and more resilient over time. Techniques such as self-quizzing, explaining concepts aloud in your own words, or teaching someone else capitalize on this principle. What feels like a struggle during recall isn't a sign of failure, it's a sign of growth. The brain thrives on effort, and these struggles are the scaffolding upon which deep learning is built. Two, spaced repetition. Cramming might work for short-term retention, but spaced repetition builds memories that endure. By revisiting material at intervals, today, three days from now, and then a week later, you engage the brain at the moments it's beginning to forget. This technique exploits the brain's natural forgetting curve, transforming fleeting knowledge into solid long-term understanding. Spacing out reviews may seem slower, but its cumulative impact on mastery is profound, turning transient insights into durable mental assets. Interleaved practice. The temptation to focus on one topic until you perfect it can be strong, but interleaved practice suggests a better way. By alternating between multiple subjects or skills within a single session, you replicate real-life scenarios where challenges are unpredictable and varied. This approach forces the brain to constantly adapt and discern patterns, fostering a deeper, more versatile grasp of material. For instance, mixing math problems of different types or juggling themes from distinct literary works creates a dynamic learning environment where understanding thrives through contrast and connection. 4. Varied Practice A close cousin to interleaving, varied practice emphasizes diversity in how you approach learning. If you're studying physics, solve problems that require different methods of reasoning. If you're training for a sport, practice under different conditions, different environments, equipment, or opponents. By introducing variability, you prepare your mind and body to generalize knowledge and skills, ensuring you're ready for unexpected challenges beyond the controlled environment of practice. Five deliberate challenges. Tests often conjure anxiety, but in the context of effective learning, they are invaluable tools for growth. Self-assessment through mock exams, tackling difficult problems, or applying knowledge in unfamiliar contexts reveals what you truly understand and highlights areas needing improvement. The discomfort of being tested is where the brain builds resilience. By actively engaging with material in this way, you're not only reinforcing what you know, but also uncovering blind spots and closing the gaps. Testing transforms passive familiarity into confident mastery. In sum, these strategies emphasize effort, diversity, and intentional challenge over passive absorption. Each approach trains the mind to grapple with knowledge, apply it dynamically, and retain it over time. Key ingredients for making learning truly stick. Overcoming misconceptions. Effective learning requires a fundamental shift in perspective, a willingness to challenge ingrained beliefs about how we acquire and retain knowledge. Misconceptions about learning often arise from a preference for comfort and familiarity over effort and complexity. To embrace more effective strategies, we must first understand and accept some key truths about the learning process. One, effort is necessary. The instinct to seek ease in learning can be deceptive. If the process feels effortless, it's likely that the information is only skimming the surface of your memory. True learning demands effort, mental exertion that strengthens neural pathways and deepens understanding. When you struggle to recall or solve a problem, it signals that your brain is engaging with the material in a meaningful way. This effort lays the groundwork for durable and adaptable knowledge, turning fleeting insights into lasting mastery. Testing isn't the enemy. Tests are often viewed through the lens of anxiety and judgment, but in reality, they are powerful learning tools. Testing forces the brain to retrieve and reconstruct knowledge, a process that strengthens memory and reveals gaps in understanding. When seen as an opportunity rather than an obstacle, tests can be transformative. They shift the focus from performance to growth, reframing assessment as a critical component of learning rather than a final verdict on competence. 
three, persist through discomfort. Difficulty in learning is not a sign of failure. It's evidence of progress. The brain is like a muscle. It grows stronger through effort and resistance. When recalling information feels challenging, the temptation to give up can be strong. But it's precisely this mental struggle that reinforces memory and comprehension. By embracing discomfort and leaning into the challenge, you train your mind to adapt and grow, turning what feels insurmountable into a stepping stone for deeper understanding. These truths underscore the importance of reframing how we approach learning. It's not about shortcuts or quick fixes. It's about committing to the process, embracing effort and viewing challenges as opportunities to build resilience and mastery. Practical applications, learning that sticks. How can you harness the principles of make it stick to transform the way you learn? Let's explore actionable strategies that align with the science of effective learning, ensuring your efforts lead to lasting results. One, Define a clear learning goal. Begin with intention. Identify what you wanted to achieve, whether it's developing professional expertise, mastering a new language, or pursuing a personal passion like playing an instrument. A well-defined goal serves as both a compass and a motivator, keeping you focused and aligned. Break your goal into smaller milestones, allowing you to measure progress and celebrate incremental successes along the way. Two. Adopt active learning techniques. Shift from passive consumption to active engagement with the material. Instead of simply rereading or highlighting, employ methods that challenge your brain to retrieve and apply knowledge. Self-quizzing, teaching others, and participating in discussions are powerful tools that deepen understanding and reveal gaps in knowledge. Active learning not only enhances retention, but also builds confidence in your ability to recall and use information when it counts. Three, embrace mistakes as learning opportunities. The fear of failure can be paralyzing, but make it stick teaches us to view mistakes differently. Errors are not roadblocks, but stepping stones to growth. When you struggle to recall or apply something and fall short, your brain is primed to learn. The act of identifying what went wrong and correcting it solidifies understanding, turning moments of imperfection into catalysts for mastery. Four, leverage variety and spacing. Monotony is the enemy of effective learning. To keep your brain engaged and challenged, introduce variety into your practice. Rotate between topics, alternate study methods, and diversify your environments. Pair this variety with spaced repetition revisiting material after intervals of time to reinforce memory. These strategies create a dynamic and enriching learning experience, preventing the plateau that often accompanies cramming or repetitive routines. By integrating these practices into your daily routine, you can transform learning into a deliberate, effective, and rewarding process. It's not about working harder, but working smarter, using scientifically backed techniques to ensure your efforts lead to enduring success. Make It Stick is not just a book about learning. It's a profound exploration of how the human brain processes, stores, and retrieves knowledge. At its core, it unveils the intricate mechanisms that govern learning, giving us a roadmap to not only understand how we learn, but to master the process of turning fleeting information into lasting knowledge. In a world bombarded with an overwhelming amount of data, the ability to engage deeply with what we learn and retain that knowledge is a true superpower. This kind of learning doesn't just help us in academics or professional settings, it empowers us in all areas of life, from personal growth to problem solving and decision making. If today's episode sparked something in you, I encourage you to take a moment to integrate just one of these proven strategies into your learning routine. It could be as simple as practicing spaced repetition or challenging yourself with self-quizzing. Whatever it is, make it intentional and observe how it shapes your approach to learning. I'd love to hear how these strategies work for you and what results you begin to see. Your insights might inspire someone else on their own journey. If this episode provided value for you, share it with someone who could benefit from a fresh approach to learning or might need a little encouragement to keep going. And if you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Your support allows us to continue creating content that helps you grow and thrive. 
Thank you for being here, for showing up for yourself, and for being an essential part of this community. I'm excited to continue this journey with you